Oh, All right. Hi, everybody. I'm, lo ah. I'm logging out of chat. Ink, you broke Varia that much, you broke the entire game. No, 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 no. Here's what happened. As oh, no. soon as I I marked off distorted gravity, <laughs> I was about to hand over this little chit here where I was going to fuck shit up. <laughs> so fuck shit up. Um, it's that fucking fire. Uh, no. Just blew the whole Is thing. It's all good there? Sorry. Yes. Uh, I was really excited about okay. a Tenacious D moment. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Um, okay. and, an apology to all of you that we fell offline there for 20 so minutes. Holy um, God. Um, like yeah, there was a. Uh, there was a. a huge fault in uh, one of the cards that we that used to stars. capture this that was basically we had to work around until we figured it out, and that's the nature of this business. Um, uh, <laughs> Card-based card base games, chance. what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, so we're back. We're back. The capture card is working. We're back. Thank you so much to Blackmagic for all the wonderful pieces of equipment that we used to get online. Wow. Uh, and I will be happily announced that it was a non-Blackmagic piece that failed this time. And in order to make it up to you, so much CGI hair. Yes. Oh, That's my right. God. So CGI hair. Yes. Uh, it's amazing because we can't see what you guys at home are seeing. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's super weird. Yeah, it's just, it's just the tattoo I have on my bald head they can see, <laughs> and not the hair covering it. Wildly offensive tattoo. Yeah, I don't oh. know. I was very drunk when I got it over several weeks. All right, so, but it's like um, weirdly charming too. Yeah, it's like it's all right. No one needs to see. All right, so. Um, <laughs> uh, I have to wear the hat now, so I match my emote. All right, so we. Um, <laughs> Uh, we were just, what, what, let's, let's recap. What had happened up until now, Mac? Why are you putting this on no, me? It's, you're all I've been drinking in the interim. Do, do your part of it. Oh. What, what, what has happened in your perspective so far? I tried to beat the shit out of the Hectark, and Ink made me forget that he was Ink, and I think that he's somebody named Spectre, although I got a way higher spread than he did, so I imagine at some point I'm going to remember who the fuck he is. Plot. All right, I still uh, don't know who he is, though, because... Because <laughs> that right. happens. Uh, Mike, what's happening? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to talk to the Hectark and be like, dude, we don't have to do it like this. It doesn't have to be violent. Just stop. Just stop. All right. So our diplomatic relations with the Hectark went awry. I have rallied the phoenixes that we pulled out of their crucibles. And as of right now, uh, all of us but Eerie are very close to death, which is weird because, like, you have another life left. <laughs> That's why. Why do you think I have lives left? He's so fucking fast, man. So Dodger fast. Dodger McDodgerson. Anyway, the Hectark has become physical, mm -hmm. and we are all getting mm -hmm. bent over. <laughs> What's your take, Eerie? <laughs> so much shipping. Ah, oh, that's party okay. foul. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's party just power. fine. Hectacmos. All right. Everyone's going to get an Uber home. All right, go. What is that? Uh... Oh, I've been punching. I've been dodging. I've been furiously cycling through cards. All right. Well, it is your action now. You just crossed off Distorted Gravity. What is your plan? The Hectarch exists as a terrible uh, uh, energetic presence that you're all fighting but not getting much traction on. What do you want to do? Uh, I have, I am uh, um, using my flare to to basically uh, uh, warp reality uh, to use that distorted gravity to drag bits of him over and that that mm -hmm. and over here that that mm -hmm. and just uh, uh, going around and just sort of like just ripping him apart essentially. Okay, all right. Uh, brought to you by. By a gallon of booze, gallon of whiskey. I would, I would totally finish this right out of the bottle. I don't look at that's like nothing. Do it. Do it. All right. Down the hatch. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah. And this is how werewolves are made, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Werewolves. To the brain. <laughs> as um as the wonderful Step Woodward says of the social eating uh, tab on Twitch, oh, yeah. sexualize this. <laughs> All right, so. Um, <laughs> Uh, all right, so... That's uh, a hectare. <laughs> yes, I drank it all. All right, so go ahead and make your spread. I'm going to go sleep in the Wolfmobile two. for two hours two. after this. Great. Delightful. Um, uh, drop of that. Two, four... So we're going to have a drinking game for next eight, season, right? Mm -hmm. 16, 32, <laughs> yeah, 64... Yeah, this is a thing we can do. Everybody Ubers to the game that night. 
We're making a pact now. 68. Okay. I, I will DM a game fucking drunk as shit. If everybody Ubers to the game that night. Yep. 75. All right. I don't know if I'll Deal. be producing then, but can I just show oh. up and drink anyway? We're, sure. Okay. We're going to be playing from noon to three. I'm going to be champ this up some <laughs> Happy okay. day drinking. Uh, day drinking. Well, so what's the total yeah. damage you just Deal. put on the stack there? Deal? Um, Deal? 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 Eighty-five. Eighty-five. The most damage that any phoenix has ever done to anything for any reason. What the fuck? <laughs> um, you do Jesus eighty-five Christ. damage in one. Not only do you like distort reality, you basically put all the punchable parts of him in front of your fist. <laughs> like, <laughs> like pull the punchable parts, and then you punch them repeatedly. There's a kidney and, then, like, and his yeah, balls, yeah, and, and, and like his like, throat. It all like pulls together in like one weird, distorted. Somebody's fucking around with early Photoshop, and you do eighty-five points of damage and whisper the chant into him. I will say he is immune to the chant, but but uh, but you do it just just to add insult to injury, and there's a huge thunderous explosion, and the even, the even the ruined buildings and the dread knights get like pushed away and shattered more, but the hectarch still oh. sort of like spins back up into some sort of vague existence. What a dick! Um, was that the first action since we since they acted, or is there another one? It's been so I, long yeah. since we went to another one. Oh, so I think it's also it, giggity. It, 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 it's fucking six years ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the, one of you goes again. I feel like we, we went, already so went. So it's got to be you, Atmos. Yeah. yeah. Here, take those Imperial take soldiers. Take the Imperial soldiers. Um, the flaming Imperial soldiers. <laughs> I'm gonna burn a spark. <laughs> to flip. Hello, Imperial soldiers. Right. Hammer. Just <laughs> hammer aside. Redraw in the there hopes of son of a bee. I'm actually quoting the bird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you um, <laughs> man, I really can't put anything together, but we'll go with. I basically let out the most primal scream anyone's ever heard. Oh, wait, I want to hear this. Well, I'm going to raise my hands to the heaven. Like, I don't have much to. Don't kill your microphone. I want to hear this. <laughs> Headphones. Ooh. Take the microphone away from just, just your voice box. Here. And let's so, hear your primal scream. I'm going to call lightning. Ooh. And that gives me... So that's, Is it a only, booty call to lightning? It's only to be an attack of eight. <laughs> and I, I see that hey, yo, all of us but theory are somehow <laughs> in mortal danger. And I lift my hands to the heavens just... <laughs> throw them in the ground and just pull down all of the fury. Of mm -hmm. the clouds above us I mean, on the Hectark. All right. Um, <laughs> Were you in a rave? Yeah, I was. I was. Sorry, I was. I was doing. I was. I've been watching the magician, so I was casting a spell. I need to learn to tut so I can yeah. do whatever. It's, yeah. I need um, a little like Doctor Strange action. Yeah. Uh, same. Same person. Strange. So. I'm such a um, so now. let's. Yeah. I'm gonna burn. I can burn two sparks to bump that to ten. All right, so the lightning blast down. I want to say that your, for the purposes of story, your explosion of electric energy from the, uh, weather energy from the clouds blows away all the dread knights that have been summoned by the, sh the, uh, the hectarch, and they're dispersed mm -hmm. enough that it can't reform them. But the Hectarch, even though it's like sort of like struggling against your attacks, it seems like it has an infinite supply of like terrible negative energy from which to draw. Uh, so it's sort of reforming itself, basically, and it's going to make an attack, which is another rank ten attack against all of you. Is it all or nothing? Wait. Nope. So it's, it's an as you can. Shit. Hey, I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to do the thing. Into the hat a little gonna, bit. Yeah. Fuck. But even no matter what I pull. Right. I I can do nothing. All right. Uh, you have zero defense at all. I have zero defense. All right. So we'll take care of that in just a second. Braid is already down. Soldier won't help you. Um, what? <laughs> Soldier will help you. Soldier won't help him. Okay, I was about to say, um, like, what? Here's a question. You could, there's like, the one or two nascent phoenixes left after all this, like, great titanic battle. You can literally, like, sort of stand behind them if you want to. Here's what I would propose. Mm -hmm. As I've already kind of given a stirring speech, mm -hmm. all the nascent phoenixes be like, "Wait, no, Ink gave a stirring speech, but you are Spectre? Who? Yeah, uh, go well, ahead. you you still kind of know who I am, though. I, I feel like in my gut, like you're important, but I'm not sure why. 
We were very impressed when that, yeah. that shrouded New York. Throw right. your force at the monster. We can defeat it. And My, if, the monster, he means a hectare, not for you. <laughs> and if you cannot, I will sacrifice every last spark of my existence to defeat this beast, beast, beast. All right. So, are, are you telling them not to to, to jump no, in for no, you? No, no. I'm telling to. I'm them to jump in for you. Yeah. Okay. And if that doesn't work, then I'll all right. Jump what, in. So, wow. Um, yeah. What do you have? Uh, ten. All right. You're fine. Sacrifice ten. <laughs> you continue to be fine. Um, soldier dives in front of this shot for you, and you can see like the sh his gigantic shield, which is an ex which is his talon. Like he puts it up in front of him, and he turns back to you and goes like, "You taught me what?" And then like, and the shield <laughs> buckles, and his whole body like basically skeletonizes and flies back behind you. This actually isn't his final rank, so he'll be around. Good later. job. Um, uh, but he's a mortal phoenix, so uh, as opposed to everyone else, he's gonna bounce through all the math sure. to get back here. Um, and uh, and then he what do you have? Nearly well. Yeah. So I'm gonna eat this. Okay. Delicious. That's really all I got. All right. So basically, there's like five or six like Mason Phoenixes left, and stirred by ink, and you can like see them. Like ink's going like, do what you must. They dive in front of him, <clears throat> and the blast sort of like takes most of them go out. A few of them sort of like have a few extra health levels left, but none of them are are left for you. And so. In just there's like a sort of pinpoint of light of the blast from the the uh, the hectarch, and then all of a sudden, it's and now you're an, an attendant spirit. You get so, to attend somebody here. Yeah. Well, oh, so no. funny story. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so funny, oh funny, no. Funny story uh, with uh, my last. Oh shit. Power up, final vengeance. <laughs> yeah. So. I have uh, 22 sparks here. Yeah. When you multiply that by two, you get 44. Yeah. So uh, I do 74 brittle damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to the head. Jesus Christ. Boom. <laughs> and the already withered form of the head. Because heart. fuck everything. <laughs> uh, and you. Who was that guy who sacrificed himself? <laughs> uh, you. Who uh, he is, but I like his work. No one will remember that. <laughs> I uh, like his moxie. The explosion hits, and the Hectarch's form is rocked back and forth, and it's slowly trying desperately to reform, and it's going to make another attack out of schedule here. This is another rank 10 attack. What do you guys all have? I I can't. Okay. So, uh, uh, at this point, there are no Phoenixes left. You are definitely going to probably take some version of this. Do you want to dive into it for Varia? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we bonded during that last yeah. one we were together, right? So, kind of, so, maybe. I don't know what had, happened. Uh, yeah. You better oh, hope. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey so. you guys. So I can add uh, two, two per spark to any of your spreads. As a attendant spirit, though, right? But didn't you yeah. burn out your Let me see your final vengeance option. Sparks, you burn two. But, yeah. but also, we cannot to add remaining sparks, sparks to defense. You can add sparks to of defense, and unfortunately, you burned out, so this is a No, this spirit. is actually, this, when you die, you inflict brutal damage on your killer. Something e happened, but I don't know. Oh, that monitor's down. Um, yeah. Equal to 30 plus twice your remaining no, sparks. Down, which is what he just did. Yeah, if your yeah, excess damage actual, is blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, it doesn't say consume the sparks. I know, but, just no. I know about the other stuff in here, too. No, it doesn't. It's not. Um, it's not. I'm going to say, though, that you you went out because for story uh, purposes. Sorry. Sorry good, yeah. good, good, good technique. Um, this rank five talent, uh, lightning power, or lingering power, is a great one. If you have a phoenix at home, please use it. But, <laughs> but for the purposes of story and because we lost about 40 minutes of tech failures, I'm going to say it didn't work. Fair enough. Do, well, well played, though, Josh. Do you and know you where your the phoenixes credits. are tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. Do you know what time it is? All right, so, um, so what do you got? Defense you are part. listening to Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Um... So what, Spectre, what I, you need to get your shit to together. If you're gonna, if you want to block all of it, you have to do twenty. Yes, I know, Marshall. I know. Why do you keep calling me that? Because you're the Marshal of the Bitters, aren't you? No. Oh yeah. Okay. Out um, of time. Uh, Braid. Who is Braid attending? Oh no. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's right. I was supposed to tell you that, but I was drinking. Braid, braid attends Varya. Okay, so. Fuck. Um, braid, I love you can you burn. Braid, but also, braid, I'll, I'll say you have. Okay, Braid, you have ten sparks left, so you can you can use what? Uh, I what have you? eighteen. Braid, I love 18. you, but also yeah. I. All right, I'm so sorry, you'll take a wound out of this, but you dive in front of it. Uh, you don't need to do it this time because uh, Eerie pushes you out of the way and takes the blast, but manages to like stay ahead of the fire himself. Meanwhile, you Damn, uh, like the secondary attack from the from the like like wounded uh, Hectark manages to <laughs> land on you. And all of a sudden, you see like the sort of world in like sharp relief as you are pushed into whatever it is that comes next. And what does your face look like as that happens? Like, Do I remember it? him at this moment? No, not yet. Shit. Oh wait, unless you want to for story reasons. I do. Oh, well, you're yeah. You have to you have to keep the story going in a few weeks. So what do you what what like as the as the last as the last literal spark of his existence goes burning out. Here, you, uh, I'm assuming, yeah, oops, ooh, we're good. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming you, like, nuke out in the hit anyway. As he's driven out of existence, like, whatever whatever whammy he has over you falls away, and you realize it's ink, and ink is done. <laughs> That's Hello, not whoever Hello. Yeah. Prime Manifest, welcome to the family. Hello. Yeah, very nice. All right. Um, I'm a, just... It's a look of utter horror at first, and then ultimate relief. And then kind of a confusion knowing that he has to go on past mm -hmm. this. I it's like... <gasps> yep. I, feel like I imagine it's like just like, it's smile. confusion, yeah. and then like... Recognition is... ink. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gone. Take that to the bank. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, um, so that blasts off. Uh, uh, Basically, at this point, there's the two of you left. Like, all the attendant uh, phoenixes are gone. All their energies are gone. It's just the two of you. But in the bla in the, in the attempt to, like, double attack, the uh, Hectarch has sort of reduced its outgoing energy to some extent. So there's sort of a, like, whirling cauldron of, of like, dark energy regaining strength and growing and growing. And you can see that, uh, that Varya is down to... You know, the, a, a brief semblance of life. At this point, you're like, like half your body is like skeletal, and organs are falling out. But like mm -hmm. the sheer energy of your of your phoenix form is holding you together. Eerie. As far and as fast as you can. <laughs> you can't speak. You're dead. Uh, uh, so <laughs> until much later when we address this directly in the game. All right. So um, <laughs> so you, you you can see that she's like haggard, but you're fine. And there's literally only the two of you. All the rest of the phoenixes have either been returned to their crucibles or uh, out and out destroyed by this fight. Um, what do you want to do? I'll let you take the first action before uh, before Varia does anything. You, I mean, you can talk also. Like it's like a, it's it's got it needs time to re reconstitute right. itself. So I yeah I, I have no cards in hand. Uh, oh, your turn. You can you can draw back up because oh. like it's actually a pause. Oh. Yeah. And you can too. Yeah. Okay. So like combat dies down Ooh. for a second as it like so flames many out in my hand. and then like it's back up again. So. I'm ready to go if that's what it means. Will it do anything? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're all that's left. <laughs> Who'd have thought, right? <laughs> Uh, the two dum dums. All we can do is <laughs> just keep punching. <laughs> I mean, I can make an attack, but if it hits me again, I'm I'm gone. This is all I have left. Um. And I can hit pretty hard, but if it hits me again, I'm I'm gone. Well, the uh. uh... Let me be your soldier then. That's creepy. <laughs> uh, that's do we have kind enough time thing. for two of us to go, or we can do like yeah, a one-two punch? Like you can both act before it goes, but uh, once it goes, it will probably attack both of you. So like 
you should make sure that you meet your action to either get clear or not if you want to, because it, it doesn't attack a single target. If this is how I go, it's how I go. Well, I mean... Uh... But someone needs to tell them what's happened here. I mean, I still got one left to give. I can't make that decision for you. I've already made it. Well, then you ought to act just before Rory can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, let's do this. There's a deafening right. silence from this side of the table. <laughs> 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 Gotten really the thanatometer is I've really gotten, just because yeah, right. our voice. The thanatometer is bursting out the top. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've just gotten so accustomed to hearing. I, I'm so I'm used to not hearing Michael Holmes say words. <laughs> I'm saying words. Yeah. Ari feels the same weird it's way. Yeah. This is the sound of silence. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to his voice. Hello, sparkless, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to think about you again in things that are awkwardly creeping. <laughs> like a guy All right. named Huey. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, oh. Uh, this used to be my job. <laughs> I couldn't tell when we were <laughs> playing fighting against each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 24. 24? Yeah. And your attack? Okay. All right, and how are you attacking it? Um, With your chain or whatever. I am, uh, um, I'm trying, I'm running around it and mm -hmm. trying to uh, create an, a, a, a counter vortex mm -hmm. to uh, disperse the... All right. This. So... It's not strong enough, it turns out, to, to, um, to fight much against that. The damage is done. So it basically, instead of trying to, like, wait for its major attack, it tries to sort of, like, grow in radiance to, like, burn you out. You know, actually, very unintentionally, much like the, very, like the Flash's death in um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. It's, like, trying to sort of, like, become so caustic to you as you're surrounding it that it, that, that it flames you out. So this is an attack let's say 25 but only to you and you see this is like it's just like it's 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 not great it's like if you imagine it's fire it's not gaining in size it's just gaining in like l like light intensity it is like sickening green light as eerie is surrounding it as best as eerie can so what is your best defense on a regular spread uh is that so attack and then i get to redraw and then uh, or uh yeah your action's over so go ahead and, okay. uh, and redraw you know what'd be handy in this situation Lingering power. <laughs> <laughs> Lingering or psychometry. Power. Yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by Phoenix Dawn Command. A card for every circumstance. <laughs> boo. I was saying boo uh, eggs. So we got worms, Roxanne, worms. Nine, 10, 16. <laughs> 17, 18, 19. Remember, this is what you have to deal with. This yep, I got 19. Two. All right. Exciting. So I'm going to roll it because you can't finish at? it. It's going to all or nothing you. <laughs> uh, and it's going to wipe you. It's like, it's, it, but that said, like much more than the other phoenixes that are going down, you're like intangible control over like your fault. Like you're, you're still running. You can feel it sort of like you, the, the, you know, the flesh is falling off you, but you never lose consciousness. So as you're falling into your crucible, you still have one last act. What do you want to do? Um, is there anything I can grab at? Can I, mm -hmm. is the, is the, the, the old man still there? Well, there's the, the core of the hectarch is still there. So like you can get a, you can get a chain on that. <laughs> chain. Ghost Rider. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drag it with me into the, however long this crucible lasts. All right. 
So there's like a stuttering light. You see basically like the the childlike form of Eerie like increasingly more like destroyed until eventually it's like a running skeleton with a chain coming at it and the skeletal bones are like falling away and the chains are sort of like hanging in the air and then it wraps around like the center of the swirling vortex of green fire and both of them go <laughs> and then there's nothing left in the dusk but Varia. So, let's visit some crucibles, or let's visit let's visit the table as we go around. <clears throat> so first off, Ink, you're in you're you're th in theory dead, right. but it turns out that the that the 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 space between the your last mortal death and the great whatever comes next is sort of like an open ended crucible, wherein like there's a few library stacks and the table. And then, like, a, a, like a, a, a step off into nothingness, and it's essentially you have to make that intent. You the, the, the intent the the theory would be you either stay here at the edge of nothingness forever, or you step into oblivion. Those are the two options. But you know better. What do you want to do? Step off into oblivion. Do you want to end it? No, no, because <laughs> I thought that was the right answer, but it's not. <laughs> Stepping off into oblivion Teenage is, is okay. suicide. Okay, Don't um, do it. <laughs> so, given what you told me, I want to see what's on the bookshelf. All right, there's there's the usual like collection of incredibly gifted books, and no surprise, the book you found in the broken crucible that reminds you how to transcend these things. Grab. Uh, and do you mm. want to walk out of this crucible onto essentially rank eight? Yes. Then you do. Yeah. You you walk against the angles, the crucible fades around you, and you find yourself resurrected from not the Imperial Flame, but a mysterious flame you've never been to before in an airy far from Pyre. And as you step out, Omen uh, is standing there, along with Fade, both of whom sort of are watching as you walk out of the flame, and Omen turns and says... I wasn't sure you'd do it. And Fade goes to him and says, I was sure. And they both sort of look at you and Omen says, you are restored to a life of glorious purpose. A life that will either end in success or in all things ending. Thank you. Meanwhile, yeah. you're met with the same uh, situation. So this is whether or not Mike wants to dive in here. You're at the edge of your crucible. It's the last, like, you know, there's the, there's the, the great forge of your crucible is there, but just a few steps in, it moves on to sort of a blissful e e e end. And if you wanted to, you could step off and fall out into nothingness or stay here forever in sort of limbo, but... Just, just remember, you've seen the edge of darkness... We don't know necessarily what comes beyond that. Do you take what is known, or do you step off into the unknown? I walk towards the forge, and I just, I reach across the table, and I pour everything in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, there's a brief burst and a spark, and there's a flash of light, and you can feel yourself using the archaic knowledge that you were given by Ink to transcend into something else. But mysteriously, while all three of you are waiting in the, in the, the uh, dark airy, you don't return there. You return somewhere else. And we'll find out where that is soon. Uh, and perhaps to reconnect with them. Or not. But that's for another story. Meanwhile, in your crucible, over a million or a thousand years, you're being chased by various physicalities of the Hectarch. And you know that you could complete your crucible and end and move back into the mortal world or keep running. What do you do? Oh, I keep running. As long as you can. As long as I can. All right. It seems like at any day it could catch up with you. And it, it can't kill you here. It can only force you back into the mortal world. But as long as you can keep ahead of it, it's stuck here with you. The only Yeah, the only thing that uh, 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 Eerie knows is just to, to keep punching and keep running. All right. And the last thing we see is uh, Varya standing alone, the Council of Marshals, or sort of 
staring down at you. Am I in trouble again? <laughs> Much the opposite, Varya. I'd like to offer you something we've never quite offered anyone before. At least, no one from your school. Well, here. That's more help. Um, Varya, how would you like to become the first bitter marshal? We're not exactly sure what your school is, even, or how you came to exist. But we know that you have, in your own way, always moved towards the greater ends of Phoenix kind. And when you had to choose between something darker and yourself, you chose correctly. We need you. The new bidders need you. They need a guidance we can't present them. And the new phoenixes need you too. Because you truly represent a level of knowledge of what's going on now that even we current marshals can't muster ourselves. It involves you staying here in Pyre for the most part. It involves you teaching for the most part. And it involves you sharing both your knowledge and your heart with an entire new school of phoenixes. But we at least have one guy who says you do a pretty good job of it. And cut to rank four soldier. <laughs> and go like, yeah! Uh, yeah! There's a shield there. Uh, Please frame! <laughs> it, it, it freezes and then like they're all moving and they just kind of turn back to you. Did you see the guy? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. We're also very interested to hear your direct account of the battle with the Hector. Clearly the dread is not fully abated. There are still bone legions and there are still forces that mean to harm us, but the war has turned from a hot one to a cold one. Still, you're the only one that knows why that happened in the final battle. Will you take our offer? How long do I have to think about it? You're not going to die until you choose. I'll think about it. All right. Do you have a note to pass? Life is like a box of werewolves. <laughs> For the contents of that message, look at Max Twitter. All right, so... Um, oh, no. Uh, or, like I ever post on Twitter. Yeah, or season two of Phoenix Dawn Command. So, as we leave the Reborn Wing, only Varya survives truly, as miraculously, uh, Eerie never returned from his sixth crucible, and no one knows why. The Hectarch is somehow repressed in the world, at least for now. Uh... Ink and Atmos both died their last time in the battle with the Hectarch, but perhaps they still live on. And of course, there's always the question of who is Omen and what was Fade's true purpose. All that will be rectified along with a whole new wing of rank one phoenixes and all their fucking annoying <laughs> personal problems. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are many, let yes. me tell you. I've only, I've only got two bios so far. Mm -hmm. And things are fucked up already. Oh, so I just love Phoenixes so much. Uh, that's I'm the Phoenix best part about season two. <laughs> is season two exists in the framework designed by season one. And as season three will season two. So please keep watching the show. We're back up at the end of March. Uh, these fine four people and uh, Blythe are going to be doing a great show for you. I'll be back because everyone has their prize. I have and, a plan. Um, <laughs> Uh, so you'll see me at least in some capacities, uh, and of course there'll be all the wonderful guest stars you knew from before, and uh, your phoenixes as designed by you in the special uh, Patreon-only chat we're going to do between now and Season 2. Please, if you're not a Patreon backer, any Patreon backer at any level can be part of that. So please go ahead and back us on Patreon. You also get more XP in the chat room. And it seems like Braid may not be entirely out because uh, Braid has a friend in exactly the right place for when you're a set, rank 7 Phoenix who dies. Yay! Um, we'll oh. see what, it, what happens there, Braid. You have a big choice to make. I'm um, not kidding. Hit me up on yeah. Facebook. You know how to find me. Yep. I'm willing to say that there is a big, giant, energetic, and moral divide that is happening in some capacity <laughs> in the future <laughs> of <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I, just, I don't know what you're I, talking about. So, hey, fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Do you want to be on the right side of yeah. history? 
<laughs> yeah. Um, or the so, left side of history. Uh, we've loved doing the show for you. We love you, Keith Baker. We love this game. It is so much fun. I'm looking forward to handing all the cards over to Mac for the first time <laughs> to see all the fun stuff they have and haven't been doing. Uh, please, if you haven't got Phoenix Dawn Command, go go out and buy it. It's great. You can play it on a cruise ship. Incidentally, um, <laughs> because I, I have. Uh, it shows up over here. What's that? On this screen. Oh, oh yeah, there's your mouse right there. Oh, right. Why yeah. do I not have my mouse on this screen? There you go. Yeah. Woo! Um, <laughs> and while you're at it, watch Tom all the great shows here on right Saving now. Throw Show, including <laughs> uh, Masks, uh, which uh, Steve is uh, our biggest fan, but I'm a the biggest fan of your show, um, and all the other great shows. We're moving to more of a every day you know what you're going to get sort of style delivery. I'll let Dom and others who are better suited explain that to you. Um, but generally speaking, you can see we're not going to go on and off shows for a while. It'll be one show every on the day that it's on for 10 weeks or so in a row, which should give you a chance to follow in on all the stories. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, Misadventures quite a bit. Yes. I don't know when that's starting up next, but or, or even if it's We're done. playing again on Wednesday. Okay, nice. Cool. Uh, Misadventures is fantastic. Harry Potter plus Pathfinder plus... Plus, Gina is super fucking messed up because <laughs> yeah. uh, she's transformed three times during the day on not a full moon when she's a werewolf. What the fuck is happening? Thanks, Jack. You guys are breaking my character. Uh, um, you broke Varya, <laughs> and now you're going to break Gina. Yeah, Varya's like a teacher now? <laughs> uh, um, I will, although that's that's the teacher you don't fuck with. Um, that's the disciplinary principle of, of Phoenix Dawn Command. Um, that's the teacher that can murder you to death. <laughs> yep. Prove it. Um, breaking board. I will also say that um, uh, I, I don't know how much we've announced, but Tom Lommel is coming back as a DM in a non um, uh, Monday Night Dungeon Bike capacity. Ooh. Nice. So um, I, despite the fact that whenever we're on the same table together, we fight like cats and dogs, uh, I actually love Tom Dommel, the, Tom Lommel, the DM. He's so, so good. Cats most, and dogs living together. Yeah. Mass hysteria. Uh, he's one of the most gifted DMs I've ever seen. I learned so much <laughs> from his, uh, from his uh, prep series, which is still going on. And watching him DM is a real des delight. He also DMs occasionally for Bearded Men Improv, which is Wednesdays on Geek and Sundry, which is a live improvised D&D game. But you can really see his DM skills there. Um, Tom Lommel is amazing. I love you, Tom. All right, so that's pretty much it. Why don't we do some plugs or wherever we can be found, and then we'll get out of here. We're about 40 minutes late. Thank you, Tech Errors, and we'll be uh, on with our lives. Thank you, yeah. Tech Errors. Okay. Um, you guys go see. ahead. Um... Check in for season two. We have amazing things in store. Uh, I'm super excited to sit around this table with Mac as the FDM. <laughs> 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 yeah, with our new player joining. Uh, I, I'm just really grateful to have been mm -hmm. offered uh, a spot at the table and then to have made it my own um, in the last few months. And I'm excited to come back. Uh, in a month's time and join you guys well a month and change mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to make more amazing stories in break time even worse <laughs> yeah. Damn, actually exactly a month because we're starting again mm -hmm. on the 25th of March oh. mm -hmm. excellent nice. yep okay. yeah. <laughs> you got it on your schedule now <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know how time works give me a break <laughs> you're spending too much time with ink well it, it, it tends to move linear but you know that's that's kind of fluid. Okay, yeah. I mean, I was Sorry. like more like a Sorry. four dimension. I'm playing five dimensional chess. Right now. <laughs> Thanks, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're so interested, you can find me on Instagram at Michael R. Holmes. Um, I too am very very excited to come back for season two of Phoenix Dawn Command because. Notwithstanding her just excellence as a person, I'm very glad that Mac is going to be representing just role-playing in general as a female GM on a stream because they are sorely lacking right now. Um, and it has been a really <coughs> fucking incredible honor to play with you guys this season. Sax, you and I have been gaming for six years now, mm -hmm. and I hope it doesn't stop anytime soon. Nope. I know that you have a lot of obligations on your time, and I would not fault you for any of those. So anytime we're at the table together, I'm super grateful for it, okay? I'm not entirely sure you will be with the character I'm bringing back to season two. Well, that's back. okay. Oh, what could you mean? <laughs> oh, my. What a twist. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Well, 
about Chan? What about you? You, you have some podcasts people need to know about. And uh, something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, uh, what else? Oh. oh. What, what, what do you do next I, Saturday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I'm not going to invite all these motherfuckers my way. <laughs> what do you even tell them? <laughs> they still deserve to know. <laughs> I'm just saying. You Don't know, invite them, you, but I fucking you, tell but them. Chan <laughs> <laughs> will no longer be a maiden when he returns. <laughs> or will he be a maiden for the first time? <laughs> oh, like a maiden. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey. What's oh, happening? Uh, woo. So tell us, spill it. Oh, yeah. No, I'm getting married uh, next Saturday. Woohoo! Uh, yes. Yeah. In Sam Proof's backyard, because, yes. uh, yeah, he's he's always running the boards over there. Right. Uh, in spirit, at least. Because also, weddings are super expensive. Yeah. P.S. Too. We did not schedule the season break around that, so thank God it happened, or we would have been the biggest dicks. <laughs> yeah. so like, oh, why yeah. weren't you at the game, Chan, for f- several weeks? <laughs> That's why we're here late. Yeah. <laughs> Power and throw. Erie just died a lot. <laughs> Erie mm, died of dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't board the river. Um, but yeah. also, knowing is half the podcast, those are the wonderful things. Yep, yep, yep. Knowing is half the podcast, the science jerks. Uh, uh, Riley Silverman and I are starting a Doctor Who podcast. Woohoo! Uh, Woo! In a couple weeks, we're going to do like a, like starter kit episodes. Like uh, for one free, one episode for each Doctor, we're going to bring on somebody who has never seen Doctor Who. And uh, like, like, hey, you should start watching based on this episode. And then the new season starts like in a month or so, so then we'll be doing those. And then, yeah, pretty cool. cool. What's Sorry. that conversation? Sidebar, real quick. You're a monster. Do we yeah. do we know what the next Doctor looks like yet? Uh, you know, it's still gonna be twelve. Oh, uh, it's still it's gonna be season. Capaldi. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's too spooky to, to get rid yeah. of after one season. Right. Two yeah. seasons. Also, he's the best Doctor, so there. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Akwave. I'll be here for season two, obviously. I'm not counting these re-rolls for these motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck that. Why would I do that? <laughs> um, however, you can see me tomorrow on the Happy Jacks uh, RPG Twitch, uh, where we're playing Vampire the Masquerade, where I'm playing the most werewolfy of, of vampires that you could possibly get. Who Damn. I I had to leave early, so apparently they regenerated my weird blood craze with a blood transfusion. I don't know. I stepped away because I had a migraine, so things happened while I was gone. So find out what happens. I also may have been responsible for another character's death who might actually not be dead dead. So I don't really know what's happening. I'm just going to show up and drink beers and be an asshole. So, and then tune back in, please, um, on Wednesday for Misadventures, which Things are getting out of control, and I want to know what's happening. <laughs> oh, my God, I want to know what's happening. And then March 25th, we will be back with Season 2 of Phoenix Dawn Command, where I will have a really hard pass-fail test with DMing a game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, she's, she's not joking. Um, <laughs> it's a shame, too, because before we went in this configuration, a weather, your Season 2 Phoenix was a really great design. Well, she, she may have uh, an appearance at some point. Well, would you, would you be so kind as to, like, talk about it a bit on your social media, like, how you designed that character? Because I think it's very informative. Yeah. And as it's not really spoiling much, because weather is not uh, no longer a main character in that, that uh, wing, it'd be really interesting. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the, uh, the rival wing as well, because mm-hmm. I'll have the opportunity to weave that in, along with all these other asshole stories. Do we so. want to give tiny spoilers to season two characters? Um, do we want to leave yeah, that? I know you two have a little bit of a sense of what you're doing. He hasn't sent me anything because he's a slacker and like getting married, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> so if you guys would like to give a little susan of what your characters are for season two, please do. Yeah, I'll share uh, <laughs> my crucible. So oh god, a chunk of it. Okay. Not the whole. That's okay. 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 Just so you know. functionally, I was one of the soldiers that one of the reborn may or may not have mutilated at. You're the, not gonna give anything away. What the? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's where you know that's where he died, at at the gate holding it for the reborn, um, in the the Shadowbari city, and his his crucible was basically him trying to get through that gate, in a inky black pit, being hunted and fought by a beast. And that is. He, he finishes the fight and walks through the gates and awakes in the area. Mm-hmm. Or in Pyre. Well, yeah, Grand Pyre, area, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, my character also died in a battle that involved phoenixes, but before they got there, 
Um, he was able to signal the call for everybody to come to arms, but he lost his life in the battle. And his Ari is trying to defend just endless hordes of screaming victims from this Crucible. shadow. Crucible, sorry. Um, from kind of a shadowy, nameless other. And he is not successful in his first try, but he emerges from the fire to join you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything? Or and his name may or may not be Vigil. <laughs> Who you met? No, no, it's Vigil now. It's Vigil. It's Vigil. It's totally Vigil. Yeah. Yeah, don't even mess with me. It's yeah, Vigil. It's now. Vigil. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is going to happen, but uh, <laughs> I was talking with Sax. So let's a make it bit, canon right now. And I'm, I'm hoping that this is what happens because um, uh, Eerie is in his. He's, he went into his last crucible. So I'm, I'm hoping that he pops back out. And that you have to run him for a little while. You know, I was hearing that before uh, the game started. And honestly, like, I'm looking forward to being super creepy and hanging out in wells and not caring about anything. Nice. But can you, <laughs> can you do the weird eerie slur? Because that's a thing. That, I'm going to have yeah. to work on that because this was sprung on me what before the game. Matter? So I'm not there yet. You I think I have to get into the character. Jerks. And I'll never come out again. Uh, <laughs> Essentially, my design with that was that um, Eerie can, is the, we, because the Hectarch has to come back because it's the major driving force of the series, is like, well, Eerie can keep it chasing him for as long as Mac needs, and then when the Hectarch comes back into play, so too does Eerie. So you get both the main, uh, like a, a, a new main antagonist, like the primary antagonist of the entire game, and... Old favorite Eerie. <laughs> which Incredibly would powerful. Be, yeah. The Hectarch's never coming Forceful. back. Sorry, Eerie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it would be super great if Eerie was like a super heroic and like, like you know, like rallying character who could drag people together. Like, we can fight him. I fought him for... But instead it would be like, hey, <laughs> you guys have any problems? Oh. Like, it's, just gonna, it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And I, I realized, I promised the chat when we were in our downtime that I would show them my new claws, so I'm going to use the dice camera real quick. Mm -hmm. So they kind of blend with my flesh tone. Ooh. Oh. What is happening? Right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> Why oh. is anything? Varying. All right, and of course, your the last your, touch of varying. Yeah, of course, your varying ship doesn't have to go anywhere uh -huh. for, for obvious reasons. Who knows yeah. what's on that note that I gave her? Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to tell the chat. All right, don't. Um, this is a great game. It is so story driven and it's so awesome. I hope you are all doing awesome story stuff with all of your games at home. We of course want to hear about it. Lots of great cool stuff happening here on Sammy Throw Show. We're gonna go off and probably have some more drinks because Woo! And, uh, actually, uh, full disclosure, I'm going to a sexy party. Woo! So. Woo! Is it our sexy party? Is it a sexy, sexy party? party? Yeah, no, no, it's a it's a different sexy and, party. God, and, and, and I'm and acting as chaperone, yeah, so it's and, not even fun for wow. me necessarily. And Mike, yeah, Mike, yeah, much like everything I go to is a sexy party by default. Literally any place you are is a sexy place. Oh, you. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. 3,000 so quat loos coming your way, my friend. Woo! All right. See you guys next time. Uh, tune in next week for uh, masks. Yep. Uh, and uh, Maybe. Maybe. We'll figure something out. Oh. Yeah. Masks or otherwise. Well, uh, masks, the St. Patrick's Day adventure. Woo! We're talking. Yes. Oh, jeez. We'll figure it out. Yeah. You yeah. are the Happy scene heroes. Don't understand me. I'm more yeah. teenage than all of you, Smash. <laughs> all right. So um, I will see you guys all soon, too. Of course, I'm on uh, Geek and Sundry all the time. This particular week's um, uh, Dick and Johnson is great because we can't use the studio for uh, because there's another shoot in there briefly. Oh, so we're going to do Truck Simulator with Dick and Johnson. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Yeah, nice. come watch us play nice. Truck Simulator. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you soon. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>